Man, when I look at this seven day forecast, the big standout to me is all the sunshine. It is fantastic after last weekend. What I want you to pay close attention to, though, are the numbers on the top of the screen right here, because the overnight lows on Saturday and Sunday, brr, you're going to want to turn the heat on this weekend. So the expert advice is turn it on now before you need it, really. We all love to be the last person in town to actually turn our furnace on, right? And, and wait, and that's fine to wait until you actually run it and use it full time, but turn it on now and make sure that it works. That's right. I know it's a fight over the thermostat, right? For some, it's a badge of honor to be the last person to turn on the heat. But experts say it is best to do a test run now before you actually need it. That furnace can can turn on and run for five minutes and not run again for for two weeks. Um, but but turning it on and making sure that the blower comes on, you're getting warm air out of your registers is going to set you up for, hey, I know when it does get cold and I really need this, I at least know that it works. Yeah, you don't want to be calling anybody at the last minute. You know, heating costs can account for about 25 to 50% of your total energy bill. And natural gas customers, you're being warned because your prices are going up more than those that use electric heat. The war in Ukraine, Russia's invasion into Ukraine, and that has caused some European countries to limit or stop using natural gas that's exported by Russia. And again, that has also caused worldwide natural gas prices to rise. You know, sticker shock when you open up your bill is never pleasant. So before the winter gets going, Two Wants to Know looks at how to cut your costs. Start by checking the filters. When they're dirty, your unit has to work harder. So clean and replace them regularly. Next, check between your doors and your windows. So you don't want the warm air you're paying for leaking outside. You can easily install new weather stripping and draft blockers around doors and windows to seal in warm air. For bigger gaps, use foam. Cold air can come in through outlets on external walls, so pop in some foam outlet sealers. Adding an extra blanket and lowering the thermostat 10 to 15 degrees overnight can actually cut your heating costs up to 10%.